I'm Dylan Douglas. I'm a visual artist from Niagara, and I work in the traditions of surrealism, cubism, and expressionism. My name is Chris Lewis. I'm a visual artist from Niagara Falls as well. Um, I work mostly in the realm of expressionism, uh, leaning more on the primitive side of things. I mean, I know for Dylan, He's in the design world, right? He's a graphic designer. So that was definitely an asset in this whole process, having uh, the knowledge of how to navigate these uh, these platforms to create these digital pieces. Yeah. Um, so having that was an asset, definitely. definitely. Um, for me, it was actually very challenging because I've never, I'm a very like tactile person. I'm, even when I paint, I try to refrain from using paintbrushes. I'm very primitive. So this was the complete other direction. I mean, a high tech. <laughs> yeah, that high tech, <laughs> high res. But it was um, challenging, but definitely rewarding. I think it didn't compromise the message in any way, and that was my big concern. I didn't want, I wanted to keep the integrity of what I wanted to say intact. Um, and I think that we, we succeeded in that way. So in that regard, I, I actually really enjoyed it. And I definitely plan on doing this again in the future. I think in terms of bouncing ideas off each other and having less permanent kind of modifications during the creative process was nice. Obviously, if I take the time to paint something, I can't just erase it. I have yeah, to yeah. go about it in a tedious way. So having that um, was definitely an asset as well. Um, but I found it challenging, but it was a growth opportunity for me. Yeah, so I think because I'm a little more native to the design world and the digital software that, you know, is used to create like Adobe products to Photoshop. We did most of this in in Photoshop. So like Chris was saying, when he's saying something's not permanent in art, he, what he means is I, we can control Z and experiment a thousand times to find something that we like and not have to deal with the ramifications of that. And we can do it in a, ma in a manner of 10 minutes. Um, so... This piece is interesting in the sense that it's digital, but it's analog because we digitalized or digitized a lot of our paintings. So we took pieces of our paintings out and we slapped them all over here. So you can see the kind of rough cut out even behind my head. So that was like a piece, that was a piece, that was a piece from a painting, that like target arrow was a piece from a painting. And then what we did as well is we kind of like, I kind of, created a digital background from that, like what we could work on. So I get the book, okay, like if we get the environment done, then we can just start like adding stuff on and layering it all up and then playing with all the different paintbrushes that like Adobe has. So there's like a th thousands of paintbrushes. So like, let's try that, let's click this. So like, I'm trying to see like, so that ice cream was an actual ice cream uh, painting, but then you have a brush where it's an impressionist brush. So you click it and, and then it like scatters it. Like you have all this kind of pointillist kind of impressionist stuff so that was really cool and then uh yeah like chris and i had like yo can you make some golf balls and then we put them in there and then i was like okay i'm gonna slap like a tattoo on the ice cream cones and like drew it all out and then you digitize it so oops the 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 beat of this piece is like it's analog and digital and we could bring all that into the digital world just like by taking photos of it and like overlaying everything and then we would meet at Starbucks and we would work on stuff there but like the file was getting so big it was like I couldn't handle it on my laptop yeah. so we had to do it we had to do it uh, like just on our our, our uh, desktops at home but yeah I think that that's the kind of collaborative process behind it lots of layers lots of experimentation lots of bringing in paintings uh, or pieces of paintings parts of paintings and then overlaying tons and tons and tons and tons of different images, colors, textures, brushes, things are getting erased. Like, I think there's stuff here, like, we wanted to leave, like, erasure marks in and, like, just, like, go over it and not worry about it. Um, click stuff, like, pixelize it, or, like, there's just all sorts of different things that you can do in the digital world that you can't do in the painterly world, while at the same time still making it painterly. Yeah. So I thought that was really cool. Like, we're making a painterly style with digital um, techniques. So I thought that that was kind of an interesting process to, to it, go down. It was very limiting, but also very freeing at the same time. You know, I, I think uh, it just speaks to the piece itself. Honestly. Yeah, the process, the outcome, the message, yeah. everything kind of uh, just parallel. I'm Dylan Douglas. I'm a visual artist from Niagara.
My name is Chris Lewis. I'm a visual artist from Niagara Falls as well. Hey, my name is Chris Lewis. I'm a visual artist from Niagara Falls as well. 